Hello and welcome to this YouTube video. Recent election results suggest that it's now a real possibility that Labour will gain a majority in the House of Commons and be able to form its own government at the next general election. And today, we're discussing what this could mean and how it might be achieved. This week's local elections were widely seen as a major victory for Labour, who gained 536 seats and took control of another 22 councils becoming the largest party in local government and taking the shine off of the governing Conservative Party, who lost more than 1,000 seats. Reports suggested that Conservative Party HQ had only been expecting to lose around 600 seats, so this result was even worse than they'd expected. However, if these results were repeated at the general election next year, Labour might still fall 28 seats short of an overall majority. Despite this, the Shadow Northern Ireland Secretary, Peter Kyle, remains confident and has recently predicted that Labour will win outright, without needing to go into coalition with any other parties to gain power. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has also backed these predictions and commented on Labour's chances, stating that the party is on course to win the general election. Reports suggest that should Labour gain a majority, it will essentially be a repeat of Harold Wilson's victory more than five decades ago, one that gave Labour a slender majority. However, finding out what the more likely outcome of the next general election is a bit more tricky. There is a lack of electoral polls taken in Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, meaning that there is a great degree of speculation helping to form conclusions such as Starmer and Kyle's. Also, some suggest that while Labour had a good result in the local elections, other parties such as the Tories, SNP and others could ride on the coattails of the Labour Party to gain a majority. Whether Labour stands alone at the top or has to form a coalition to gain their majority is yet to be seen, but what is clear is that these local elections were a huge boost for Labour and its leader Sir Keir Starmer and it will be fascinating to see what sort of outcome we are faced with come the next general election. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.